Hi, I'm Colton with Porsche Center Calgary and here today with a very exciting piece of pre-owned inventory. This one is the 2001 911 GT2, something uh, we don't see very often, if ever. This is probably the first one I think that I've ever actually seen. Uh, very, very rare car. So we'll do uh, kind of a simple video today, pretty quick one, summarizing kind of the basics of, uh, of what the car is um, and a little bit about this particular one's history, but there's a whole lot more uh, to know about it. Uh, and uh, of course, we're here as a resource for you to learn more if uh, this video isn't enough give us a call and uh, we're happy to do a deeper dive for you. But today, uh, starting with the basics, it is, as I said, a 2001 GT2. 2001 means it's the 996 generation. And uh, this particular one, I don't know if I'll pronounce this right, it's a Biarritz white, uh, which is a really cool white actually. Um, Sometimes the whites are difficult to appreciate when you don't see them next to other ones to see how different it is. Um, and in the photo booth, it may not necessarily be emphasized, but it looks very, very cool. It is an interesting white. It's not just kind of a basic white. It's, it's definitely a unique look, which is pretty cool. Um, these wheels are a 19 inch uh, turbo twist wheel um, on the note of, uh, of the turbo. So a GT2 is basically, uh, you know, one way to consider it is like a combination of a GT3 and a 911 turbo. So a, a GT2 will give you kind of that more race focused, uh, lightweight concept that the GT3 is famous for, but is also turbocharged like a 911 Turbo. So it is about as extreme as uh, as it gets and, uh, and very limited. They don't build very many of these as I was kind of mentioning off the top. Uh, one of my favorite unique uh, attributes of, of the GT2, uh, attribute may not be the right word, but um, aspect is maybe what I'm looking for in the uh, in the back but you can see it has the the prominent rear wing as most GT cars do um, but it actually has uh, intakes to the engine uh, integrated into that rear wing which I think is just so cool uh, and shows uh, shows kind of the, the performance credentials um, at, at first glance right you can see just how serious this thing is um, when you spot that GTL very 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 cool thing uh, and then you do also have the characteristic side intakes too uh, that you would see on a uh, on 911 turbo um, another thing that kind of, you know, taking some of that turbo DNA and some of the GT3 DNA to come uh, to create this uh, really, really uh, ferocious, I'll say, combination of those two cars. Um, so um, touched on that stuff. Let's let's mention a little bit of the performance. Um, it does use uh, kind of a variation of that turbo uh, engine. So it's a 3.6 liter uh, twin turbocharged flat six. This one produces 462 horsepower, 457 pound-feet of torque. So that was good for about 4.1 seconds from zero to 60 um, when this one came out. And uh, I mentioned, of course, lighter lighter weight being the GT3. To put a number on that, it was roughly uh, 100 kilograms lighter than the uh, comparable turbo would have been at the time. So about 220 pounds uh, you're saving versus that car, which you can definitely feel driving it around. This particular one, um, was originally um, uh, originally owned or originally purchased, I guess, in uh, in Japan. So it was it was a Japanese car, but as you can see, it is a left side drive. It's not uh, you know entirely um, uh, you know what you would maybe expect of some Japanese cars where the steering wheel is on the wrong side. It's not perfectly drivable over here. And in fact, it's nice if you're going to get a car that's outside of market. Japan's one of the better spots because you don't have to change the uh, the odometer or the uh, or the speed readout or any of that because of course it's all in kilometers. So that's uh, that's a nice little uh, little bonus. Uh, this one too, clearly very, very well cared for. It came to us, we did our inspection and it required nothing actually. It, it, it passed. Um, as it was, which is uh, which is perfect and pretty pretty rare when we see uh, older cars come in. Generally, uh, you know, our our workshop finds uh, a fair bit of things that uh, need to be done to bring it up to our standard before we're uh, we're ready to represent it for sale again. But this one was actually uh, virtually perfect. Didn't need anything um, other than a good, uh, good detailing, which we've done, uh, and it will be once we're done here on display in our showroom. So as I mentioned off the top, if you want to learn more, do give us a call or pay us a visit, and it'll be uh, on display soon to check out. Thanks very much for watching.